So you spent all week gathering up all the cans, bottles, and newspapers, and now you want to know what happens next? Well, we're here at the Waste Management Facility in Philadelphia to find out. So uh, tell me a little bit about this uh, facility. Uh, yeah, we've been open here in uh, Philadelphia in the Northeast since uh, December of 2010. Currently, we take in uh, up to 20,000 tons a month of uh, recyclable single stream material, which is essentially um, all recyclable materials that the end user, the consumer, puts into a single receptacle as opposed to source separating it. A lot of people in the past have been used to separating paper and cans and cardboard. We don't have the need to ha for them to have to do that any longer. They can put everything in the same receptacle. So when the uh, truckload comes into the plant, uh, what happens? It, it gets dumped on the tipping floor and it goes up through the conveyors, through the processing line, both a combination of manual and mechanical, and ultimately out the back end, it's sorted and bailed and shipped off the markets. Uh, talk a little bit about the manpower. I think a lot of people think it's all automatic. How many people do you have working here and what, what kind of uh, duties do they perform? We have approximately 150 people on different shifts. They do uh, sorting, maintenance, equipment operators. So uh, what can you tell me about the benefits of uh, single stream recycling? Well, first of all, it makes it much easier for the homeowner. Uh, we're able to recycle a lot more material because they're putting all the materials into one can rather than two, so you can increase your recycling rate. What materials can be place into the single stream can? Oh, pretty much all your fiber materials, uh, certainly any newspaper or cardboard, cereal boxes. And so on the flip side, what uh, sort of items should not be uh, recycled? Well, certainly um, we do find uh, different items from time to time. We find garden hoses, we find fire extinguishers. So there are certain items that shouldn't be in there. Um, I mean, the, the, there's a variety of items, but too many to name right here. And then once it gets recycled, uh, where does it go? Okay, usually uh, most of our fiber products, that being the cardboard and old newspaper, uh, gets bailed up and sent uh, on export containers over to China. And most of the poly products, which would be the plastics, uh, are actually go to a lot of domestic sources here in the U.S. And then finally our, our tin and uh, our aluminum bales go right back to the bottlers uh, and, and the manufacturers. We did a little thing earlier in the year about the single stream uh, coming into Warminster and identified some of the products that can go into one can. I'm, I'm finding out just in my own home, I'm putting more stuff into the uh, recycle can than I am in the trash can, just being mindful of what goes in there. And the, um, the single stream's the best, that you don't have to separate it. And the, uh, the benefit to the township is that we're, we're experiencing a windfall from it. We get so much per ton. So I hope you enjoyed this tour of the waste management facility in Philadelphia, and I hope it encourages you to recycle more of your household items. This is Jim Boyle from Patch and Metrofor.com.